Good afternoon, I'm Charles Lejano. This is One News Now. U.S. Marine Joseph Scott Pemberton is now under the custody of the Bureau of Immigration. Authorities transferred Pemberton from the Bureau of Corrections just a few minutes before 12 noon today. Justice Undersecretary Mark Beretta says Pemberton will not be allowed to roam the country waiting for his travel documents. This means Pender Pemberton will remain at the Special Detention Center in Camp Aguinaldo until his deportation. In the meantime, Pemberton's camp will now secure other documents, including his NBI clearance, flight itinerary before departure. A few core staff assigned to the American soldier has been recalled to the new believed prison. The Transport Department is set to implement an optimized physical distancing measure inside public transport vehicles. That's in order to increase ridership as the country continues to transition towards the so-called new normal. Under the proposed measure, the distance between passengers of public vehicles will be reduced by about 25 centimeters every two weeks until it reaches a minimum distance of 30 centimeters per commuter. The Economic Development Cluster backed the proposal, provided that other health protocols are strictly observed. New measure is expected to increase capacity in railways by as much as 502 passengers per train set. On the other hand, Roro vessels will be able to accept full seating capacity once the minimum distance is enforced. Aside from optimizing seating capacity in public vehicles, the IATF has also directed a technical working group to design an enhanced rapid pass system for frontliners. And an oil and tire store at the Beirut port caught fire on Thursday, a little over a month after a massive blast shook the Lebanese capital. The fire erupted in the duty-free zone of the port, sending a huge column of smoke above the city. Reuters' military source said the cause of the blaze was not immediately clear. Television footage shows firefighters trying to put out the blaze at the port, where warehouses and concrete green silos were shattered by the blast that rocked the nation on August 4th. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine star and business world online. You can also check out our website, onenews.ph, for in-depth analysis. You can also visit One News using the Signal Play app. Register for a free account now at www.signalplay.com. Stream One News live, anytime and anywhere. I'm Charles Lejano. We are One News.